Hello and welcome back. So here is the storage, other most important component. So when it comes to storage, uh, there are three uh, very common questions uh, always hits to the mind is like what exactly uh, to store, right? And how to store and where to store. And and when it uh, you know, comes to the uh, cloud storage, there are four types of uh, cloud storage can be leveraged. So one is the personal storage, uh, private storage, uh, public storage, and hybrid storage, right? So these are the different kind of storage in cloud. So there are mainly three kind of data we can store into a data store. So what data can be stored? One is the file storage, right? So, so what is it? Uh, so what is the file storage? So file storage means accessing single piece of data over the network stored as file on a storage medium, right? To stay organized, one can build a hierarchy of folders inside other folder, uh, which contains your files, correct? So depending on the specific variant of file storage, limitations such as, uh, such as uh, access restrictions can be put on folders and files within the hierarchy, right? so how how this file storage can be used so file storage is based for data that is user defined so where end users add modify delete the data it's for data that uh, that needs to be very accessible and uh, and available quickly right so think think that like powerpoint presentations or excel spreadsheets like file storage aims to aims for uh, price performance right so however file storage does have usability limits uh, and because because the information is uh, is uh, so structured uh, uh, you know uh, scaling means uh, scaling means uh, not just adding space right but adding new layer to a gigabyte systems right so you can you can only have so many folders uh, within uh, within folders before get uh, overly complex right does the content uh, does the content of uh, this uh, file uh, you know, belong in folder X or in folder Y? So this system is good for maybe uh, hundreds of thousands of files or maybe even million of files, but not billions. So there is another kind of, I mean, uh, kind uh, of data can be stored is the block storage. What is a block storage, right? So block storage is a very technical way of accessing file data mean to be used by applications but not exactly actually directly by people right so in simplest term this storage type takes data and breaks effort into uh, chunks of information uh, of equal size that can be accessed directly right? instead of having to follow a path of folders within uh, within different folder like file storage each block of files has its own address and contains pointers to the next block that belongs to the uh, piece of data. Though as block storage is not meant for users to uh, you know, to interact with, since the files metadata uh, that is uh, built-in description of what the file is, how it uh, should be uh, you know, associated with other files and who can access it can only be uh, read by, uh, by machines. Uh, this method is only as good as the uh, you know a server system uh, it employs. So how it is used? So block storage uh, block storage presents uh, presents the highest uh, highest performance uh, for accessing or consuming data. The the type of performance required for database systems, uh, which is the kind of environmental uh, you know environment uh, where you you will find it right. Uh, in in this kind of system applications can work very quickly with uh, block data to retrieve and uh, and modify information faster than any human code right so however because of its performance characteristics block storage is very far the most expensive way uh, way to approach uh, approach storage right so the other one uh, the other one is the object storage correct so the 
a third option for the uh, i mean the third option is object storage it prioritizes uh, prioritizes efficiency and cost effectiveness in this methodology all pieces of data are tagged with metadata that includes a unique id that describes the uh, file's content and location once all the pieces have been uh, marked as distinct objects they are ad- their addresses are as an object okay a single entity in a big open pool uh, open pool of you know open pool of objects accessible from many uh, you know uh, many different uh, location at a time to access the data just use the id or uh, metadata uh, associated with the object think of it like the junk uh, junk drawer uh, yeah, in your house that has a lot of uh, useful things inside but nothing uh, no nothing organized in a uh, meaningful way so how does it work uh, or or how does it uh, being used uh, so operating uh, you know operating like a library self uh, existing set uh, you know uh, existing set pieces of information in object storage can be easily retrieve and use however the format is not meant to enable the editing and uh, alteration of such information so this means it's best of storing and retrieving largely static data for example a music mp3 file you want to listen to the object stored itself is not usually accessed directly right it is presented through an interface that access the object object store and its distributed data behind the scene such as reading a uh, you know uh, ebook or uh, with with your e reader or watching a movie using your uh, smartphone or star smart television object storage is on structure and low maintenance so storing larger quantity of data is easy to increase capacity simply increasing the size of the warehouse or uh, storage so this uh, this agility and simplicity of you know design provide uh, economic scaling uh, that impacts the associated, associated cost as well so there are some of the consideration need to have like out of the all uh, these three of you know uh, storages uh, how how you want to choose uh, choose the best one right honestly there is there is no uh, straight forward rule to choose one out of these three however it it really uh, depends on uh, the use case you are uh, really trying to solve so let's talk about like what exactly this uh, i mean these are the criteria we can really take into consideration to you know choose uh, choose a particular storage uh, over any any other storage type right so most org, uh, most uh, organizations uh, have processes applications uh, workflows and use cases for different type of uh, you know cloud storage if you want to truly maximize productivity and uh, minimize cost the answer uh, isn't uh, uh, isn't dif- uh, you know uh, the answer uh, is it not not only one of the storage solution uh, outline above Uh, but it's all in the right combination correct so analyze the workload and applying the right type of storage uh, for each one is the key to just specific storage so have a lot of a uh, lot of email attachments that are accessed and uh, shared by uh, many people you are probably looking a uh, file storage application if you have a, a i mean database or mail server so sounds like uh, you need uh, a box storage solution when you're looking uh, to store a lot of historical uh, financial backups uh, for long term then that's a job for you know object store you need to uh, analyze your environment to uh, to identify different uh, type of solutions and match the um, match the uh, appropriate uh, storage uh, offering to the correct purpose right so so you have to you know uh, take a decision like what is your use case and what kind of data you are trying to store and for what for force okay so so that's how you need to uh, take this you know uh, t- take this strategy into con- consideration one of the major part of the storage is scaling so scaling once the type of you know store being decided the next uh, most important uh, thing must be taken into consideration is uh, scaling the uh, storage server correct so like load balancers and cache servers the data store also data store servers also can be scaled vertically as well as horizontally also can be configured the data store for high availability to serve the 
you know peak loads for data store performance so the first is the indexing so indexing the data uh, based on the columns and uh, while while uh, while there is indexing so uh, it can speed up the read performance it's right i mean writes are also make system slower uh, but more storage also required right the while the index uh, indexing is really gives more benefit from the performance also it takes some overhead right so and denormalization denormalizing the uh, you know on data uh, data set we are storing into the data store right so uh, one it's really adds a redundant data to the uh, 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 to reduce join uh, boost read performance uh, but right uh, makes the whole system a little bit slower right because it's denormalized whenever the data being written to the data store first it has to denormalize and write the data right and the uh, and little complex uh, you know uh, uh, coding and development required to you know, meet the uh, meet the requ uh, required uh, use case and the other one is the data replication so by replicating data the performance of the data store can be increased uh, drastically uh, but yeah so the you have to build the read replicas and uh, data can be shared for the multiple applications multiple services and uh, data partitioning uh, data so there are different kind of data stores available in the marketplace one is a sql type and the other one uh, is no sql type right there are so, some of the services available out there in the marketplace to use for different use cases can a no sql be used for all kind of uh, use cases or vice versa the answer is uh, of course no i would say one size uh, doesn't fit all correct so since no sql data store uh, you know uh, uh, don't really support uh, support the acd rule right acd rule or acid properties uh, uh, in favor of the scalability and performance so where the the you know cap theorem comes into picture so we will talk about the cap theorem, uh, cap theorem in a different uh, session altogether but yeah these are the tools and techniques and services available in the market where uh, the cloud providers really provides those uh, as a managed service yeah so those were all about the data store